Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'll be talking about the Parabellum MG14 suppressive and why I don't think it really makes any sense to use it unless you just enjoy it. Because personally, I don't feel like it fulfills any sort of efficient role within Battlefield 1. So let's jump straight in with the basic stats so we know what we're talking about. It has a pretty common damage model for LMGs, with a maximum damage of 28 and a minimum damage of 21. This means it can kill in 4 to 5 shots, and it again has a pretty standard range model here, managing a 4 shot kill out to 12 meters and a 5 shot beyond that. It then has pretty good muzzle velocity when compared with other so called close range LMGs with a stat of 870 meters per second. It's then giving you all of this at a rate of fire of 700 rounds per minute and with a magazine size of 100. So yeah you get the deal, it's a shredding machine. And this is all sounding very positive so far. So what's my issue? Well trust me, there are some negatives. The most obvious one being the insane recoil. It's fairly strong vertically, but horizontal recoil is where it just gets disgustingly bad, with a stat way above anything else in the support class. There may be clips in here today of my aim being on target and then flying way off to come back in again, in a way that you don't see me do on pretty much any other weapon. That's likely me trying to compensate for the strong and at times almost unpredictable recoil, which can be somewhat harder to manage on a controller than with a mouse and keyboard of course. Combine that with a poor deploy time stat and pretty ridiculous spread when you're ADSing and moving at the same time, plus less than special spread when hip firing, and well you've got a bad time on your hands. Although it does have good spread when aiming down sight and staying totally still, but this is pretty limiting if we're honest. And so, with stats covered, let's get to more specific in-game topics. Now some of you will be aware that on some weapons I enjoy using a scope, whacking it down to the lowest sensitivity and having no ramifications at close range whilst having a long range boost. This creates what I call my perfect scenario. Well this weapon isn't one of those. It just doesn't work out. The scope can feel cumbersome at close range and offers almost no benefit at long range due to the extreme recoil. It's almost pointless trying to hit anything at long range and sometimes even mid range. So this is already pretty damning for using the suppressive variant of the Parabellum and with this thought in mind we can do a couple of direct comparisons between it and the low weight variant. Well the low weight has far superior recoil decrease and spread decrease as well as just better spread overall. So it's going to be easier to control and hit the target more consistently. The suppressive variant does have a slightly superior first shot spread multiplier, but this isn't particularly noticeable and certainly doesn't make up for all of its drawbacks, in my opinion. Plus you can just throw an AA sight on the low weight variant and take advantage of even less magnification if you so wish. This negates some of the visible recoil, which you would may as well do as you're unlikely to be challenging anyone at range anyway. And this is all from a weapon that I don't think is anywhere near as good as it used to be anyway, regardless of the variant you use. The TTK patch pretty much nerfed what this thing was good at, so when you throw this on top, I see even less reason to use the suppressive than before. Now obviously you do have a bipod available which improves things, but when compared with other LMG options, it just doesn't feel all that stable due to the extreme rate of fire and recoil, and you'll be looking to use this bipod at ranges you just don't need to with other options. It can be advisable to try to use it at even mid range, and the frustration is further intensified by Battleford 1's inconsistency when it comes to bipod placement. With a weapon that so often requires it, having situations like you're going to see here can be extremely annoying and frequent. Why am I not bipodded here? I had just used this surface before and now I seemingly can't. Combined, it's all just a frustrating, limiting and occasionally annoying experience. At range it's terrible and there are so many other LMG options that are fantastic for this. At mid range it's pretty poor too, which is especially bad now that medics can dominate there so easily, and at close range it misses more shots than an assault weapon, so its main strength is somewhat negated. Obviously this should be the case at close range, as that's what the assault weapons are designed for, but I'm then just left questioning what the point is in the Parabellum Suppressive. It just makes no sense to me. You can of course use it for fun, and some people may use it better than others, but I feel like the LMG 08-18 Suppressive is just comfortably better for whatever playstyle you'd be trying to implement with the Parabellum Suppressive. And furthermore, I much prefer the BAR telescopic and the shooter telescopic for basically any situation you can end up in. They're just better in my opinion. Obviously they do have way less ammo available per reload, but if you ask me, that's a small price to pay for a weapon that actually feels like it has a purpose. But this is all just my opinion. What do you think? Do you like the Parabellum Suppressive? And do you think the Parabellum
Antebellum overall was better before the TTK patch? Let me know in the comment section below. Now let's go over to the Board of Awesome for the fantastic people who allow you to get content from me full time. Without their Patreon support it just wouldn't be possible and things really would or will be very different around here without decent support. So thank you to everyone on there. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description and in my pinned comment. Support can start from $1 a month. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos and feel free to like, share and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time. Laters.